you doing? This is the uh, last song I believe we left off on. I'm going to go ahead and just play the whole song all the way through and then we'll break it down into uh, sections for you, okay? So here it is. <laughs>
first fret on the B string. Okay, so it's just like that. Then you'll pick the D string, the A string of the same chord. Move up to this chord, which will be five on the B with your pinky, five on the G with your third finger. And I'm just picking the B string, the G string, open A again, then hit the third fret on the B string, slide to the first fret, like that. And then on the G, your fourth fret, and then to a C chord, which is like a power chord. Um, with the octave in there. So what that is, it's three on the A, five on the D, five on the G. I'm just picking straight up the chord. Okay. Then hit the G again and pull off to the fourth fret right there. You could already have that second finger in there if you want on the fourth fret on the G, you know, to pull off to it like... called a D2 is the name of it. Um, that'll be five on the A, four on the D, open G, three on the B, and just pick straight up the chord. Okay. Then before I end up going back to this G chord, I'm going to hit an open G as a pickup note. That's your open G. And then that next chord is going to be three on the low E with the uh, second finger, open D, four on the G, one on the B string, back to the four on the G, open D. Then I repeat the B, G, D, D, G, D, like that. So that's like... Like that, okay? Let me put the... Pretty, pretty much put that much together, okay? So we got... also bar the high E. You're not going to play it with the right hand, so it doesn't matter if you touch it, but um, you got 10, 12, 12, 12. I'm just picking straight up the chord. A, D, G, B. Hammer on the 13 on the B, pull off to 12, then back to the uh, G string. So you got it. Like that. Then the next chord, this is called a D9 chord. Bar at the ninth fret with the index finger. 12 on the D with your pinky, 
nine is on the G because you're born, and then with the second finger come in on the B string at the tenth fret. I'm just picking straight up the chord. So you got. Okay. Basically move that chord down a whole step. Same thing, no different. After you pick up the chord, then just go 10 on the B, slide to 12, like that, okay? And then what I'm doing is a A, a string 9, 10 on the B string, and the way I'm, doing, I'm using my pick of the right hand and the second finger, and striking those two together, like at the same time. So you got. Hit it again, that 9 and that 10 on the A and the B. Then hit the 12 on the B, slide to uh, 13. Okay? Then I'm going to do a variation this time on the G chord. I'm going to go A, 10, 12 on the D, 12 on the G, pinky up at 15, slide to 13, and then to 12 on the B. Let me do it one time. Nine on the A, twelve on the D, nine on the G, ten on the B. Down a whole step, same thing. And then the ten slide to twelve on the B. That chord again, where you got nine on the A, ten on the B. Strike those two together, and then do it again, and then do the twelve slide to thirteen again. Okay. Then there's this walk down, uh, where it goes like this: ten on the A, twelve on the B. Whole step, same exact chord, 7 on the A, 8 on the B, 9 on the G, then down to a D chord right here, which is going to be 5 on the A, B, uh, 7, G, 7, like that. Then to a C chord. I'm just picking up and down the chord, basically, you know, 3 on the A, bar 5 on the D, G, and B. I'm just going A, D, G, B. G9 chord right here, which is going to be 2 on the A, okay, 5 on the uh, D, from the bar you'll catch the 2 on the G, and then 3 on the B string, okay, just picking straight up and down that chord, A, D, G, B, G, D, like that, so those two, let me go from that higher part, that walk down thing, so you got... like this right here. You could go with your third finger. It'd probably be a little bit easier. Um, uh, third fret on a low E. Pick the D open, G open, B open. Come back to the G. Come back to the D. Come in with the first finger on the B string. That'll be the same picking B, G, D. Lift back up to open. B, G, D. So that's like... Wicked chord, but 
It's like, uh, go ahead and go with 10 on the A. Go ahead and bar at the seventh fret from the D on up to the high E. Um, the third finger is going to be on the 9 on the D string. The first finger is going to catch that 7 from the bar, and then the second finger you've got, you know, the 8 on the B. Um,
this little thing, which is a pretty nice bar at the seventh fret on the D, G, and B with the index finger. Then hammer on on the D with the third finger at the ninth, the uh, second finger at the eighth. That happens at the same time. So it's like, like that. and then hit the G. So let me demonstrate that uh, from here. One more time. right here where I left off. You do your hammer on, you hit the D again at the 9, hit the 8 on the B, hammer to 10 on the B, and then 7 on the B. Okay, so let me play that part. Okay, now after that, you just go back to the C chord again where you pick up and down it. The, uh, That was the three on the low E, open D, four on the G, one on the B, back to four on the G, open D, repeats the B, G, D, one more time, B, G, D, okay? Sometimes on the third time, if I don't want to do the repeat of the one, four, open, you might see me go like this, where I'll do three on the B, one on the B, and then four on the G. So if you did that, it'd be like... Uh, 851-6832 and I'll talk to you later.